oh, I'm so happy. Okay, I get to try the butterfly one. Okay, so you're probably not going to be able to see it. I threw it in this right here and it says the butterfly. Oh my God, I'm so excited. All right, everyone, so let's get started. Now for today's makeup tutorial, I'm going to be doing something very neutral. Oh my god, who is she? <laughs> I know I've been doing a lot of colorful, intense editorial makeup tutorials here on my channel, but I realized that I don't have a neutral eyeshadow tutorial on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you how to create a really nice, soft, natural, neutral eyeshadow look. Perfect for weddings or proms or any special occasions. And I'm also going to be trying a couple of new benefit items. I'm so excited. So like usual, there's going to be timestamps in the description box of this video so that if you only want to see the eyeshadow tutorial, you can jump there. Or if you want to see me review the new benefit blushes, you can also jump ahead. Or if you want to see the whole video, then just keep on watching. <laughs> and I also wanted to try these two products right here. So we have the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. And we also have the All Nighter Setting Spray. So I'm also going to be trying these today. So that's pretty much what's planned for today's video. So let's just jump into the makeup. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be prepping my skin. So I already washed my skin. I already toned my skin. Next thing I want to do, I just want to use a eye cream because my eyes are really puffy at the moment because I just woke up. So I am going to be using the Yves Rocher Anti-Age Global Illuminating Care, which is just a very lightweight, comfortable eye cream. And it does moisturize the eye area quite nicely. And you also have a little bead applicator, which is really useful to really just massage on under the eyes and reduce under eye bags. So I'm just going to apply some of that on my under eyes. Oh, that feels good. And I'm just going to use my finger to massage this even further into the skin. And next, I'm also going to be moisturizing. So I'm going to be taking the Tatcha Water Cream. I went to Sephora yesterday and I bought something and I had enough point to get <laughs> this lotion. I don't buy this lotion full size because it's way too expensive. But every time I have the chance to get this for free, I always get it because this is one of the most amazing cream ever. It's so lightweight. It's so moisturizing and it's really, really refreshing. And makeup does apply quite beautifully on top of this. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that with a spatula so that I don't put my fingers in this. And I'm just going to massage this into my face. And now we're going to start working on the eyes just because I want to make sure that my complexion makeup will be flawless after. And if I need to do some cleaning up with the eyeshadow, I won't be disturbing my foundation and complexion makeup. And to prime my eyelids, I'm going to be taking my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I really like this primer because it does cover up my veins quite nicely and it's not too chalky and it's not too drying. So when I apply my eyeshadow on top, my eyelids do not look dry. <laughs> And crusty that's the last thing I want so I really enjoyed this because it's very very lightweight but it does have a really nice coverage and it does allow eyeshadow to last quite a long time making sure I place that from my inner to my very outer corner and I'm also going to take some on my under eyes just because I will be applying some eyeshadow on my lower lash line all right, so next, first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to be taking a cold liner. So this is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Endless Cacao, which is a really nice brown neutral shade. And I'm going to be using this as a base for my eyeshadow I'm going to apply on top, just so that the eyeshadow will be as rich as possible. So I am planning on doing something very elongated to really open up the eyes. So I'm going to start by just tapping this pencil at the very root of my my lashes and I'm going to start and bring that towards the end of my eyebrow doing very small tapping motions and you can be very messy with this part because we are going to be blending it out all right so now that I have the overall shape I'm going to be taking a very small precise brush this is a JH42 brush and it's a very nice tapered pointy blending brush 
so that you can have a lot of precision while blending. So doing very small circular motions and back and forth motions, I'm just going to start and blend that coal liner out. And I'm also going to bring it towards my crease. And I am going to be doing a lot of back and forth. So I'm going to take more of that pencil, apply a little bit more, blend it out until I have the shape and intensity that I want. And I'm stopping the color about halfway into my crease. So I'm not going to take it further into my inner corners because I really want to keep that very open, very fresh eye look. And to achieve that, we want to keep the inner corner as bright as possible. All right, so as you can see, we have a pretty nice base for the eyeshadow. So next, I'm going to be taking my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette, and I'm going to be going into the shade called Perfectionist, which is a really nice neutral transition brown shade. I'm going to take that with the same brush, and I'm just going to tap that shade on top of the brown uh, coal liner we just applied. Actually, that shade is lighter than what I expected. So instead of that perfectionist shade, I'm going to be taking a deeper brown shade. I'm going to be going into the Soulman eyeshadow palette, and I'm just going to grab that deep neutral brown shade with the same brush. And I'm going to do the same thing I was planning to do. So I'm going to take that shade instead just to intensify the brown coal liner. So I'm just going to do very small tapping motions just to place the color down and we're going to do the blending afterwards. So now that the color is placed down, I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush with, with nothing on it and I'm just going to go over that brown shade. And once again, I'm going to be doing some back and forth until I have the intensity that I want. And just to help the blending process even more, I'm going to be going into this light transition shade with a fluffier brush. This is a JH33 brush and you can use any lighter shade than the deeper brown shade we applied at the very root just to blend the deep brown shade even more and going back in with the deeper brown and the more precise blender brush. I'm just going to intensify that brown shade at the very root of my lashes and using that fluffier brush with a little bit of that lighter transition shade, I'm just going to start and bring just a little bit of that transition shade towards my inner corners. All right, so here, if you'd like, you could stop right here and just apply a little bit of a shimmer on the lid. Uh, but I do want to intensify this eyeshadow just a little bit more and give more of a cat eye effect. So I'm going to be taking a black eyeshadow. You can use any black eyeshadows you have, but I'm going to be using the black from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And I'm going to be taking that on a angled brush. Now you really want to be light handed with this. You do not want to go overboard <laughs> because black eyeshadow can be quite harsh, but I just want to add some dimension and some darkness at the very root of my lashes. So with that black shade, I'm just lightly going to dab that at the very very root and as you can see it's already giving some more definition and i'm also just going to do a tiny little wing with the black eyeshadow next thing i want to do i just want to use a skin tone shade on my lid just to set it down so that it doesn't crease so i'm going to be taking a light beige shade this is the shade my whole heart from the Pure and Rob Judy Christie palette. And I'm just going to be taking that with a fluffy brush. You really do not need a lot of that. And I'm just going to very lightly dust that where we did not apply the dark brown. And I do really like the matte look of this eyeshadow right now, but I do want to add just a little bit of shimmer. You could apply a shimmer like in the center of the lid, but like I said, I kind of really like the matte effect. So I'm just going to do a shimmer in my inner corner to brighten up my inner corners. So I'm going to be taking a light pinkish shimmery shade and I'm using the Starlight Sonata shade from the Kaleidos uh, Escape Pod palette and I'm taking that with a very compact JH39 brush and I'm going to really precisely place that in my inner corner and again you could just decide to stop here apply some mascara and you're good but I really want to add definition in my inner corner. So I'm going to be taking my angled brush with that brown shade and I'm just going to tap that 
in my inner corners just to do a little bit of like a cat eye effect. <laughs> now I think I want to work on my lower lash line a little bit. So I'm going to be taking my JH42 brush with that light transition shade from the Soul Man palette. And I'm just going to very messily blend that all over my lower lash line. And with my angled brush and the deep brown shade, I'm going to place that at the very root of my lower lash line. All right, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow look. It's so simple, like it feels weird for me to do a neutral eyeshadow look, but I feel like it's fun and I really need to cover the basics on my channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. I'm going to do some mascara and I'm also going to be doing some false lashes. Who is she? <laughs> so I'm going to be taking the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm applying that on my upper and lower lashes. So I'm going to be taking the Ardell Professional Naked Lashes. These look so flurry and so amazing. So yeah, I really want to try them. I don't really have a lash glue that I love like. <laughs> I have the Lily Lashes glue, but I don't really like it because it's like so sticky and like feels like it never dries, but I don't have another lash glue at the moment. I usually really like the Kuo lash glue and it's really cheap, but this will have to do. <laughs> okay, so these are new, so I might have to cut them. Yeah, I definitely have to cut them on the outer corner. And usually with lashes, you really want to cut the outer corner and not the inner corner because usually the outer corner is the part of the lash where the lashes are the longest. So if you were to cut the inner corner, then it might not blend as pretty into your natural lashes because then the inner corner will start unnaturally longer. I don't know if that makes sense. Like you want to make sure that the inner corner are very short so that they blend into your natural lashes quite nicely. And you always, always need to wait for the lash glue to dry before applying it on your eye. Because if you go in with wet glue, it's just not going to stick and it's going to go all over the place. So you want to make sure to wait for that lash to dry a couple of seconds so that the glue gets tacky. I'm shocked at how easy these were to apply. And also you probably noticed that the outer corner is not technically on my lash line. I applied it just a little bit higher to give a more lifted effect. I'm really not used to seeing myself with false lashes. Like it's really weird, but I'm kind of enjoying it. <laughs> So next, just because I do want to open up my eye even more, I'm going to be taking a white coal liner. This is the NYX white coal liner. And I'm going to place that on my waterline. And I'm going to drag that liner right under our pointy inner corner. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow and the mascara and the lashes and the liner. I am obsessed with this makeup look. I, yeah, I really like it. It's very different from what I usually do, <laughs> but <laughs> it's good to do things differently once in a while. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the other eye off camera really quickly and I'll be right back. So next for my complexion, I'm going to be trying this right here. So this is the All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. It's kind of branded like the Milk uh, Hydro Grip Primer. So it says that it's supposed to be a dewy foundation grip to prep, smooth and hydrate the skin so I'm very curious about that I do need the moisture and the glow <laughs> okay so it does have the same type of texture as the hydro grip it has a gel type of texture so I'm just going to massage this into my face the primer I really 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 like the texture of it it does feel like the milk hydro grip but more dewy like not as sticky and i don't really like sticky primers because i just feel like the foundation skips on the face but this one feels really really light and very comfortable so i am very happy with this primer right now it's quite nice and now for my complexion i really want to do something quite natural very lightweight uh, so i'm going to be taking my rare beauty lightweight foundation in the shade 140C. And I'm just going to dab some of that all over my face. And I'm going to blend this in with my Rare Beauty foundation brush. 
For my concealer, I'm going to be using my Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Swan. I love this concealer. It's very lightweight and it does have a lot of coverage. So I'm going to be placing just a little bit of that on my under eyes and where I do tend to have a little bit of redness. And with the same Rare Beauty Foundation brush, I'm just going to buff this into my face. I really like this primer. This primer just gave some shine to my complexion and everything blended really beautifully on top. So I'm kind of really stoked about this primer. It, it looks really pretty. And I do feel like it's going to make my foundation look like more long lasting. It's a really weird feeling. Like it does feel grippy, but not too much. So now because we are going to be using some powder blushes, the new uh, Benefit blushes, I am going to be using a powder bronzer. I'm so happy that Benefit finally decided to like make their packaging smaller because this is so bulky and like you have so much free space in here they made a new packaging like a packaging that's a little bit smaller which is very very smart and very practical it's going to take a lot less space so i am going to be taking the hula bronzer from benefit and i'm going to be taking that with a real techniques blush brush and you know i'm just going to bronze my skin up with this so I'm going to be placing that in the hollows of my cheeks, on my temples, on my neck, and a little bit on my nose to give a really nice sun-kissed effect. I used to use this bronzer every single day in secondary school. Like, I love this bronzer. And I do remember why I really liked it. It's quite nice. It is a little bit more on the warmer side, so you gotta be careful not to apply too much. And it's definitely for bronzing, so it's not going to do any type of contouring. But yeah, I, re I do really, really like it. So now for my blush, I'm so excited. So Benefit sent me all their new blushes. <laughs> so right now I'm just going to show you all of these blushes. I'm going to do swatches and it's really cute because this packaging is a game. So you have a little dice and the dice is going to decide which blush you're going to be using. So I'm going to make my life easier and let Destiny choose the blush I'm going to be using today. Less decision making for me. But yeah, so I'm just going to show you all the shades. We have the shade Shelly, which is a warm seashell pink blush. Dandelion is the only blush I did try. It's a really pretty baby pink uh, blush. We have the shade Krista, which is a strawberry pink blush. Pom Pom is a pomegranate rose blush. Moon is a rich berry blush. Butterfly looks freaking amazing. It's a golden orange blush. Peachin is a golden peach. Sunny is a warm coral blush. Willa is a soft neutral rose. We have the shade Java, which is a rosy mocha blush. And Terra, which is a golden brick red brush. Brush. Blush. <laughs> What's really nice with these is that you do have different sizes. So you have the full size, which is uh, $39. And you also have the mini size, which is $23. And we also have this little brush, which is quite nice. And it is quite expensive. Like it's, it's kind of really expensive for only a blush brush. This brush is $43, but it's really nice because you it's the kind of brush that is retractable so that if you want to put this in your makeup pouch, it's not going to get gross and it's going to be a little bit more clean. So yeah, I do really enjoy that, but it's, it's very expensive for a blush brush. <laughs> All right, so let's see what Destiny is going to pick for me. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, I get to try the butterfly one. Okay, so you're probably not going to be able to see it. I threw it in this right here and it says the butterfly. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I really wanted to try the butterfly one. <laughs> so the butter butterfly one is a gorgeous coral shade. I think with this kind of makeup look, I would have went with something more pink and more neutral, but Destiny chose otherwise. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up some of that blush with the brush. It is very, very compact, um, so I feel like it is going to apply a lot of blush. <laughs> so I am going to remove some of that on the back of my hand, and let's apply this on the high points of the cheeks. This shade is really pretty. I feel like it, it does have a really nice golden shift. It has a little bit of shine. I'm kind of really surprised by this brush. It is applying the blush very seamlessly, so I'm kind of really not mad about this brush. It is packing the shade on though, so if you want a more natural look 
<laughs> with the blush, you should definitely be very light-handed. All right, so for bridal makeup looks, I usually for editorial pictures, I don't usually use powders to set my face down. But if you're planning to go to a wedding or a special occasion, I would highly recommend you to set the areas that are prone to creasing. So for example, under the eyes and around the mouth. And also very important to use a powder that doesn't have any flashback. I'm not sure if the Rare Beauty does have flashback. It is very finely milled um, and there is color in here, so it is not translucent. But yeah, I still want to set my face down so that it doesn't crease during the day. <laughs> so I'm just going to pick up some of my Rare Beauty powder in the shade Light. I'm using a e.l.f. tapered brush and I'm just going to set my under eyes down. And I'm also blending the powder into the blush have a seamless color okay so next let me just fill in my brows because they look so empty so like usual i'm going to be taking my benefit uh, precise my brow pencil in the shade number three and i'm going to set them in place using the 24 hour brow setter from benefit if you're looking for something to make your brows last such a long time this is like super glue for your brows if you have never tried this you should definitely give this a try because it's, it's magic it really does work for my highlight i definitely want to use something that's not glittery that's really nice and shiny so i'm going to be taking my NARS uh, highlighter in the shade Capri and this highlight I hit pen on it's so freaking beautiful it's an amazing natural shiny highlight it's really difficult to explain it's not too golden it's like the perfect shade not too golden not too pink um, you'll see what I mean when I apply this so I'm just going to take some of that with a BH cosmetics brush um, and I'm going to place that on the high points of my cheeks for my lips, I'm going to do something more neutral, more natural, a little bit pink, but neutral pink. <laughs> so I'm going to be taking my Inamasquia Coloring Lip Pencil in the shade Undressed. And you know, I'm just going to line my lips with this. And a trick that I discovered that's so mind-blowing is that for special occasions, what you could do is apply a lip stain before applying your lipstick. So that when you're doing the event and if your lipstick does wear out, like your lips are stained. So there is still color there and it's such a good idea. I don't own a lip stain. I'm definitely planning on buying one. In the center of my lips, I'm going to be using my trusty Cossas lipstick in the shade Rose Water. This lipstick is gorgeous. It's like a really nice pink, not too pink, but like it's your lip color but better <laughs> and because i do want to make this lip shade more neutral i'm going to take just a little bit of my um, endless cacao pencil and i'm just going to place that shade on the perimeter of my lips also just to give some definition and dimension to the lip shade and that's pretty much it oh i almost forgot so last step, I'm going to be trying this right here. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I hate this bottle. Why does it have two caps? Like I, I just lose all of them. So this one I'm going to throw away because screw that. I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> Let's see the mist. Oh, okay. So it looks like a really nice light mist. Oh yeah, that mist is so fine i really like it all right so as this setting spray is drying it's giving me a really nice dewy look to the skin i'm obsessed this setting spray does feel really really hydrating i'm really liking it like the primer and the setting spray i'm really looking forward to try them more often they feel really nice on the skin usually for special occasions setting spray are really good because they do melt all the products together and they make the face look a lot more natural and it also sets the makeup down so that it's a little bit more long lasting but yeah so this setting spray feels really nice <laughs> all right so that's pretty much it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed overall i did really enjoy all the products i i tried today the primer the setting spray was quite nice the um, Ardell lashes are 
absolutely gorgeous. The Benefit products, I was also really surprised. Um, I already was familiar with the blushes and the bronzer formula. I did try them before, um, but the, sh the new shade that, that I tried, I quite liked it. Um, definitely not the shade for this makeup look, but it still blended really beautifully and I feel like this is the type of shade I would wear all summer long. The brush was also quite nice. I'm not sure if I would pay $43 for the brush. <laughs> it's uh, very expensive for only a blush brush. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. You can also subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos every single Mondays, so subscribe so that you don't miss any of the makeup of Mondays and that's it so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one